Welcome back to the channel and thank you for joining me in another little episode here on Icarus guys. Today we're gonna take a look at what update 119 just brought in. It's all about the brambles and some other interesting stuff. So let me share with you the update in here. Boop. So grow, harvest and deploy the new bramble defenses. This is all about the brambles just like other crops homegrown deployable okay so you can grow by yourself you have the ability to buy the seeds from the workshop i guess those that's really useful if you're a prometheus or sticks uh no if you're an olympus or sticks on prometheus in here we are on prometheus you can get them from the marshlands just what i did if not you can buy them from the workshop it doesn't cost a bunch of money, let's be serious. It's okay. So, they say that they will require more regular reseeding because they have higher fatigue. But, it ain't that bad. Let me show you. So, back to the game. I've planted in here. This is my second crop. Okay. Uh, if I inspect these boys. So at the second one, we have only 100% growth speed. That means you can have, what, four, five harvest out of one seed. Each time you pick one up, you're going to get back some seeds. These guys, I didn't grab them because I didn't collect them with sickle. But if you have a sickle, mine needs a miasmic. You saw that? Two seeds. Okay, another one seed. So each time you get it with sickle, you're gonna have a bunch of seeds. Now for the first, I have 32 plots in here. For the first one, I had 76 seeds. Now I have another 11. Okay, some are torn, some are not torn because of the miasmic. But I think it's really good. Some other thing uh, you may want to watch out. These guys are pretty heavy. Uh, you do have a bunch of output with them. I haven't placed them yet. Deployed them, let's say. We'll take a, that, a look at that in a minute. And I have an idea. <laughs> Since they are plants deployable, I don't know. Can you deploy them in the Arctic? I mean, can I put them on the ice? Because my hedgehogs, yeah, I would have been able to put them in there. Nevertheless, a stack of 20, 20 kilos. So they weigh a ton, a ton. I'm already over encumbered. 2 to 8 kilo out of 192. Oh my god, it's dark. Okay, let me pull up my hair. Oh, we got a bunch, okay. So actually no point in growing more. I'll take this ones out by myself, not in the video right now. Let's let's take a look. Where the hell is my bed? I want to make it daytime. I want my solar panels to work. Perfect. Let's take a look at the rest of the update, shall we? Because there are more things in there. So. When placed as a defense, they cannot be moved. That's very interesting. Because, as you can see in this photo, this guy put it all around his base, except for a little entrance in there. And here you can see it better. When those guys are in my plots, I can walk through them without being, I don't know, hurt, slow down, whatever. I don't know if the same thing will happen when you put them on the ground. We're gonna test that. Because if I surround all my base with those, and they hurt me each time I pass, we're gonna have issues. We're gonna have to build exactly what this guy did in here, like an entrance point for you to follow, but not for the animals to be able to follow. Or just leave an empty space, you know, something like that. Now, we have <laughs> some improvements, let's see. So, they fixed a bunch of missions in here uh, because they didn't work properly after they introduced the last update. Uh, fix certain inspected devices such as the water pump. Not showing the modifiers and uh, networks UI. Yeah, we know that's been an issue. 
Let's go and check our little water bumps in here. Before it was only uh, an empty screen. Yeah, it used to be an uh, empty screen. Right now it's good. Perfect. Me likes it. Thank you very much. Back to the schedule. What else? Fix clients. So clients, multiplayer. Okay. Only seeing electrical network when opening the resource network. Okay. Improve the spline connection logic to provide smoother connections to other spline. Well, thank you very much. This prevents cases where splines would wrap around existing packs to enter from certain angles to new packs. Yeah, that's very good. Let me. Oh my god, I closed it. Let's test that one out as well. Electricity tool, please. Pump to me. Uh, there. Ish. So, a bunch of ugly wires in here. <laughs> Uh, let's let's go up top better we got some ugly stuff in here okay let's let's make one other okay so that one looking okay -ish. so if I want to reconnect this one to the network come on doesn't even work why doesn't let me okay so by coming with a new one. Yeah, it's looking a little better without those nasty angles. So, those ugly angles, I made them when I pulled a wire. But right now, it's going straight into the box if it's a new network. It doesn't make all those funky angles. That's very good. We're gonna be able to have some more streamlined wires, beautiful let's say around here good let's uh, continue shall we we're getting into nitty-gritty right now notable improvements <laughs> okay so improved performance of tier 3 spawn block by reducing the number of times whatever that's your biofuel creature deterrent in tier 3 if I'm not mistaken, I think I'm not. Update modified effective display. Scaling around 100% instead of positive or negative effect. This better shows the less effective modifiers will only have X% percent effect. Example, a 20% effective modifier shows as a 20% instead of a minus 80. A 150% modifier shows as a 150 instead of plus 50. That's very good because before uh, it was so hard to figure it out uh do i have modifiers i don't think i have bees active in those but oh we have something growing here let's inspect you see growth speed 100 percent and the plant fatigue it says minus 100 percent. normally with this setup in here i should have 200 percent but now it's showing like that so thank you very much it will be much clearer uh what else let's see these guys because they work faster because of the water uh hmm hard to see yeah this ones you cannot inspect them well it is what it is i hope you understand me i understood next Many UI elements to prevent small box next to device inventory where modifier when modifiers are not present. That's very good. You don't have that nasty, nasty little box. Fix quest not progressing after completing side objectives. Very good. This week, brambles. So they introduced the brambles. Yay! Thank you very much. But now, with this changed, when place whatever. Okay. Cannot be moved after that point. We'll check that. But are very lightweight. Uh, uh, okay. So won't provide much burden when stacked. It's true. For 20 of them, we got 20 kilos. Uh, well, actually. Actually. Let's get back into the game. So for 20 of them, let me drink something. Uh, I get 
20 kilos, right? Uh, where the hell are my buildables? I think in here. <laughs> so it's half of the wood wall fortification. For 20 brambles, you get 20 kilos. For 20 wood wall, you get 40 kilos. Well, if you can pair some brambles with some stakes in the ground, I don't think it's right. I think they should be lower because one wall of this is goddamn big. Okay, so we're talking about what? One, two, three, four, five, blah, 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 blah. Okay, all this part. Stakes. One of these is four kilo. A lot of stakes. A pack of brambles is <laughs> two kilos. Uh, not exactly scaling right, but let's leave it at that, okay? Because that's not the worst thing. The worst thing is coming. We've also taken this time to provide a balanced overpass of other deployable defenses and halved the self damage taken by hedgehogs. What does that mean? That means your hedgehogs will take half percent, so like 50% damage when somebody will stumble over them, you or an animal. So it's good, very good. But now comes the nasty part. Well, <laughs> while doubling the self damage taken by fortification spikes, this effectively is deterioration when invading enemies. So there you go, they just fucked us. Our only feasible defense that we had until now, the spikes have been nerfed. So each and every single one of us when building a base, we're putting down the spikes because they are the only feasible form of defense that we got right now. Guess what? They're not. So the durability stayed the same, but the damage dealt to the spikes when a creature or something touches them, taking damage, it's a lot bigger. Check this out. Okay. So it takes what, about 10 hits for a Drake to die? For a Drake or for something like that? Have you seen that? The damage? So if a Shala goes around here and it goes, ah, ah, I'm stupid, I'm in the spike, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. Okay, you already lost 500 health on these guys. That means more maintenance. Uh, daily, if not more than that, you'll have to go around your spikes and sh check them because they will get destroyed as soon as possible. If I put off that creature deterrent that I got in here, I got an electric one, and all those idiot drakes start attacking. In less than one day, all my spikes will be destroyed. Or most of them. So I'll have to rebuild them. Or just sit like an idiot with a hammer in my hand around my base all day fixing them. And I'm stuck. So my advice to you, put your creature deterrent. Uh, it ain't worth not having it right now. Make tier 3 biofuel because they just make it better if you don't have the electric one and just put it in there. The Rhea covered it very big, as you can see it. One of them should be enough for your base. You don't need anything else. That will limit the animals that will pass through here. Oh, look, we got some friends. Hi there. Come after me. So normally this guy shouldn't be there, okay? Because this guy is active. But look at the damage on the spikes. I mean, it, 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 okay. One Drake died. My wall lost 750%. My spikes, not my wall. So if this idiots come on my spikes, it's gonna be, they're gonna be destroyed really fast, look. I mean, maybe I would have, have some, had something like that after a week or so. Right now, <laughs> you're gonna have it after a day. That's why I'm thinking to put those brambles on the exterior of those spikes. Okay. Now, how did those creatures spawn in there when my creature deterrent is active? 
I have no idea. Okay, so with this change, we uh, just to some of the details of mission dispatch. So they fixed that mission because they reduced the spawn. Uh, it's horde mode. I just did it on my channel. It's fine. But now you're gonna have less animals. That's very good. But that's not an excuse for nerfing our goddamn spikes. Yes, you fixed one goddamn mission, but you are affecting a core mechanic of the whole game, okay? So it's not right. This one ain't right at all. This one pisses me off. Now, let's continue. We're also working on more automated deployable defenses in the future. We know the turrets are coming. You said that like a month ago. We're waiting for them, given to us. This will mean more balancing on the existing ones. So as you well know, when the devs are introducing something new in the game, the only way that they can make it better is to nerf our old existing stuff that we have, okay? So that's not right. That's not right at all. But that will happen again and again and again and again until all the buildables in this game, everything that we're gonna have, everything that you see in here, they will be mediocre, okay? Just to have something extraordinary put in the game. And when the next extraordinary thing is gonna come in the game, that OP thing that you had, guess what? It's gonna be nerfed. Let's get back in there. This week, Bad Racer Network continued. They made the missions, inspecting devices, whatever. We already knew that. Okay, so future, like, man. The Animal Companions update. We've quietly been working on our next big update for a couple of months. We've seen that because your update sucked and you had to fix them each week, mixer. It's clear that you were not working what you should have had. So, Leica, our companion update, which is well into the development, whatever. Uh, this is an update focused on improving player experience with tame creatures, including the all important ability to be able to pet your animals. Okay, so that makes me wanna say fuck you. Because this one, you're just laughing at us. The all important ability is for you to give mounts or companions, how you say it, that are goddamn useful. Okay? Because at this point, they're useless. Whatever those animals provide, I can do better with my character without having an animal in here, providing him with food, water, shelter, whatever you want building everything for him his useless everything that we have right now in the game so the all important ability is for you to make the mounts that you promised from the start not to pet them okay this thing this update will also include the ability to bring your tame creature from orbit to orbit and be called to a planet as needed that's very good because why put them on Prometheus and grow them if you're not are able to use them on Olympus, for example? Now that we've established a reliable customs department, so maybe we'll have to pay for that. It's fair. I think it's fair. And I just closed the goddamn update. Amazing. Okay. We're adding talent trees for each month with the ability for months to gain experience just as you do. That's how it should have been done. And at the end of that year, they should be OP. You should have done this from the start. Ah, there will also be two new tame creatures, exclusively ordered from orbit. So maybe it's gonna be the goats and the chickens that they've been teasing us for so long with, or something else, I don't know with their own gatherable resources. So I think it's about those. A new tier three and four water and food trolls. That's good because filling gap that water trail, it's a pain in the butt, okay? Just connect it to the goddamn pipe 
in it. That's it. Next week, we'll have more details to share on what to expect. Very good. So, next week, we're going to have water purification. Welcome to the hell of Prometheus. Some other things will be harder for you enough with other words. So, next week, we'll be adding a new survival dynamic to water purification. Water throughout the game will provide additional bonuses best based on the cleanliness of it. That means if it's not clean, you may not get some bonuses, but something else. With devices throughout the different tiers providing different methods of purifying water. So this is very nice, but at the same time, they're saying if that what is not clean and you drink it, you're gonna have issues. Okay, which is kind of normal. But again, changing the goddamn core mechanics of the game. Right? I don't know if you say right or not, but that's what I'm thinking. What time is it? 12. Let's grab those goddamn brambles. And kind of test them. Now, <laughs> I'm afraid to put them around my base. Let me leave that electricity tool in here because I have a inborn talent of losing stuff and after that looking for it all over the base. <laughs> okay, we got some dead people in here. They have fallen. <laughs> this one I fixed it. This one, 3690 out of 5000. Amazing. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to do this each and every single goddamn day. How did those four spawn right in here? Okay, so they were in here. Something like in here, okay? Yeah. I'm in my circle of protection. How the f did they spawn? Uh, okay. Oh, they're tiny! So, remember. They said once you place them, they cannot be removed. Okay, let's stop at one. Oh my god, okay. Uh, yeah, it's good. So, good news. Uh, well, you can kind of jump over them. Kinda. Yeah, if you time it correctly, you ca Jesus Christ. If you care, wouldn't be so la laggy. Laggy. A skipping frame. Frames. It'll be nice. They're getting smaller as they're getting destroyed. So that's very interesting. Interesting mechanic, okay? So you can destroy them with a knife. And they're becoming smaller and smaller until they disappear. That's how you move them. <laughs> Let's see about the sickle. Can I collect them after what I plant them? No. So only attacking them. Hmm, well, <sighs> that means I don't want to put them in front of my door. But guess what? I will plant them all around the base. Yep, all around them. If it's even possible, mister. Oh, you can plant them real close. You can make quite a thick in here. Very nice. Too steep. I don't care. Just plant it. Colliding. Are you serious? Colliding with what, mister? So there you go. We have some spaces already. Amazing, isn't it? Good thing I planted a bunch. Now, the next thing is to go... And uh, I will do this by myself, of course. Let's take a few of them. How am I with the foods and with the goddamn water and the oxygen? I'm good. Okay, good. Let's take, I don't know, two stacks. Uh, let's make our way into the Arctic. See if I can place them in there. Because these spikes and hedgehogs, you're able to put them everywhere you want. Okay, everywhere, I mean. So, it will only make sense to let you plant these guys everywhere you want, including on a foundation. And on the foundation, it's true, you can plant them. 
Excuse me, Michala, passing through. Okay, let's go into the Arctic and see if I can put them on the snow. Let me meet you guys in there. So, we made it into the Arctic. Let's just choose this button here. Yes, you can. Good. Now, the next thing that I want to test is... Ugh! Ugh! Is... Uh, how effective is this against the animals? Hey, bud! I just heard that one. Hey, bud! How about you come and uh, play with me for a while? Hi there, the two of you, come. Are you coming? Yes, you are. Here I am, come and get me. They don't give a shit about it. So, we have some very good defense, guys. They just don't give a shit about it, they're just passing through it. They are slowed down a little. But nothing amazing, okay? I mean, look. They're not getting hurt. Uh... What a fucking disappointment. So, you are affected by the stuff, okay? They... Uh -uh. I don't give a shit about it. I was thinking of going into the lava biome just to put them in, plant them in. Most likely you will be able to plant them. Well, let's trust, let's, uh, I won't go in there because it's clear that these brambles are useless right now. Let's just test them, um, I don't know, on a rocky face in here. Can you put them on the water? Yes, amazing. That means you can plant them everywhere. <laughs> come fishy, come, 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 play with me, I just planted one, oh, no, he's not affected, of course, ah, he's gonna get me, mommy, yeah, whatever, not even the fishes are affected, so, you can plant them just about everywhere, I'm pretty sure you can plant them in the lava biome as well, nevertheless, as you well saw, kind of goddamn useless. Hey, Wolfie, come and play. Grab this in your face. Come on, you can do this. Don't be shy. You're gonna be a star. <laughs> what the hell are you waiting for? You're supposed to be aggressive. Oh my god, we're playing kitty mode in here. So I just planted. To are you serious? What the hell are you doing? Come on! Yeah, he's screaming, but look at his health. I mean, me, I'm getting 50 damage out of it. This guy is more the damage that he puts up to the brambles. Let me plant them all in here. Okay. You're in the bush, boy. He doesn't look that hurt, okay? I mean, if you are getting 50 damage, this guy has like 5 million XP. <laughs> HP, I wanted to say. Uh, because he's not getting hurt. This is just goddamn embarrassing. Come on, boy. Maybe you're gonna die after 5 million goddamn years. So, he's damaging those brambles for 50 but i mean how much hp does a wolf have okay i killed him with the hit of 300 so let's say his health is 350 those brambles are putting oh he's got an alteration are putting like one damage to the goddamn animals so Welcome to Icarus. Welcome to the week 119 useless update in which they nerfed our spikes and they introduced a goddamn useful pack of brambles. That's that's what it is, basically. Yeah, it is what it is. So, 
Thank you guys for being here for watching this. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, <laughs> if you want to help me on my trip of becoming a full-time content creator, you can do that by grabbing yourselves an amazing membership. Uh, we're gonna have uh, more of this update, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> on the brambles. Maybe they're gonna fix them. Because for now, they're not good. Okay. They're not good. They, they gotta do something about them. Yep, yeah, thank you all. See you into the next one. Bye now.